Hello friends, we are here to learn about making of assertion reasoning questions. Before going to design assertion reasoning questions, we will look out types of questions in an examination. We can classify the questions as selection type, supply type. What do you mean selection type? With a set of possible responses from which students are to select the most appropriate answer. Example, multiple choice, true, false, matchings. Whereas supply type, when we are talking about these items require students to create and supply their own answers. Example, short answers, yeses. The preparation of good selection type items is difficult and students can get a proportion of answers correct by guessing. In case of supply type, easier to construct but more difficult to score. Now that this type of reasoning questions consist of two statements. One is known as assertion and the other one is a reason. What is assertion? It is a statement of fact. Forceful statement of fact or belief, whereas reason, explanation for the assertion. Determine to give whether each statement is correct. If both the statements are correct, you have to determine whether the reason supports the assertion. In this way, we can make four types. The four different cases on these are given and the correct one is to be selected by the candidate. The parameters as per CBC guidelines to make assertion reason questions. Remembering understanding either of these 38%, applying 32%, analyzing 30%. Next, when both the assertion and reason are true and reason supports the statement given in the assertion correctly, then option A will be our answer. On the other hand, if the assertion and reason both are individually true but the reason does not support the statement given in the assertion correctly, then our answer will be option B. Sometimes the assertion is true and reason is false. In this case, our option will be C. In some cases, the assertion and reason both are false. In that case, option D will be our answer. Think before making the questions. Are we asking the same concept? Is there any link between different chapters to answer? Involvement of integrated education, interdisciplinary approach is followed, framing concept roots, application approach. So in any one of the base, we can make the question. Can I ask numericals even? Yes, we can ask the numericals. Now, we will go with point wise, what type of assertion decision questions can make? The first we should remember assertion can correlate to reason by the connecting word adjectives like because, if, so that. For example, we will see here, I came late today, this is the assertion, then it was raining heavily, this is the reason given. So here the adjective is connecting the assertion and reason statements, we will check. I came late today because it was raining heavy. So this comes under our choice A. Next, interpret cause and effect relationships. For example, assertion, clothes are not washed properly in hot water. Reason, hot water contains many minerals. Here see, the hot water contains many minerals due to which the uh, foam won't form, lacquer won't form, so the cloth washing is not done properly. Testing more complex issues and higher levels of learning. The chloroform molecules is tetrahedral in shape, is the assertion. Chloroform has a dipole movement, it is the reason. Here see, the individual statement, both are correct. So the concept here, the various levels that we expect from the child, all tetrahedral molecules doesn't possess dipole movement. Set of test specifications. 
for which we are framing the question. For example, legumes revive the soil fertility reason. Microbes in the root noodles of legumes fix the atmospheric nitrogen. Here, see, particular object we are stressing here. The microbes, generally due to pandemic, we are very much afraid of. He, all the microorganisms are not harmful to humankind. That aspect we can check by giving such questions, framing such questions. The specifications describe the achievement domain being measured. This is the another example where the achievement domain can be measured. The assertion, the Coulomb force is the long range force in the universe. The reason given, the Coulomb force is weaker than the gravitational force. Here, which domain we want to check up? The knowledge understanding in addition to, we expect whether the student have a wide range, wide varieties of forces existing in the nature and which one is the stronger, which one is the weaker. This analyzing ability can be checked by framing such questions. Measuring a representative sample of the learning outcomes and the subject matter topics. This is the sixth example and sixth point to frame the question. As compared to Chandigarh, Chennai is very humid. Reason, Chennai is situated besides the sea, but Chandigarh is not. So here, what will be the outcomes that we expect by framing such questions? Geographically, the student can identify the various cities situ situated in which state, what is the location, and in addition to that, what are the cities near to the coastal, means coastal area. And at the same time, we also judge whether the child have the concept of humidity and how the humidity can be measured and how the humid percentage of moisture present in the air. Such learning outcomes we can check by framing such questions. In brief, what are the outcomes that Definitely concept clarity is very important for solving these type of questions. To solve assertion and reason type of questions, an in-depth knowledge of various concepts is required. Not only this, the students cannot guess, no wild guess. A, B, C, D, they cannot, what we call by tossing or guessing, it is not possible. We can assess knowledge and understanding. This is the most one of the feature involved in AR type of question. When we classify at the beginning selection type and another type of questions we are discussing, what are those short answer and essay. Now this selection type items, where we on the screen we can see there are so many merits, measures factual information, measures understanding of the child, samples broadly Eliminates bluffing, already we mentioned, no tossing, okay, no tinky donkey punky. So eliminates writing skill, of course, this is the loss to the child. Scoring is objective and it takes less time to assess a large sample, large quantity of sample, encourage originality. Thank you for watching this.